Hey, good evening. Uh, welcome back. We're now at day 14 post-op where I had a uh, head transplant on the crown of my head. Um, what I thought of doing this video is just kind of show you sort of the, the update really from week one. Um, just to sort of show you exactly what's now happened, how much growth has actually uh, been achieved in a week, in two weeks now. Uh, but what I have noticed, and you'll probably see it in the photos, is while there's been some growth in some areas uh, of the grafted follicles, some of the others have actually now shedded. Now, I was told that this would happen, so it's it's not a big shock to me at the moment that this has actually um, occurred. Uh, I can only hope <laughs> that it is just purely shedding and it will grow back in the next few weeks. Uh, otherwise, I'm happy as, thing, as things are going. Um, the the donor area around the side of my head is is now fully healed, so you would never know that anything actually took place. Uh, when you look at, uh, obviously my day one post-op, uh, if you look at the back of my head, it looked like a plucked chicken. And uh, now it looks somewhat better. So fantastic news on that side of things. So if you're ever going um, down the operation route of uh, FUE, then I'd highly recommend it. Certainly if you can give it a week after having it done, then no one would even know that you've had a transplant taken on the back of your head. Uh, yeah, I need to tell some would obviously be in the in the grafted area, uh, but from the back of the head, it's, it's, uh, there is nothing there, and there's no there's no now scarring or any, anything like that. Uh, well, thanks for watching, and I'll show some photos at the end of this and give you another update in a week's time. Thanks for watching.